Hello and welcome to Den of Fools. My name is Fox and you're watching the 40k stat show. Let's jump right in. In week 49 of 2022, we had 103 tournaments with a total of 1,990 players and 3,617 games played. This week, Chaos Demons are out in front with 13 wins. Tyrannus and Tau are close behind with 8 wins each. Four factions are tied for fourth on tournament wins with the usual suspects, Sisters, Aldari and Necrons all getting 7. And somewhat surprisingly, Space Marines also managed to get 7 tournament wins. Will these all be Blood Angels? Find out later on in our Space Marine chapter breakdown. We see a lot of factions getting tournament wins this week, with Imperial Guard, Chaos Space Marines and Orcs getting 6 each. Both types of Knights do well with 4 wins for Chaos and 3 for the Imperials. The Votan get 4 and we see the usual solid performances from Custodians and Thousand Sons who get 3 each. Tyranids have had a great week with 28 top 3 finishes and the joint second most wins. They really do seem to be one of the top armies even after nerfs. A consistent strong performer, Chaos Demons come in next with 25 top 3 finishes with just over half of these being in the first place. Chaos Space Marines are tied with Tau on 22 top 3 finishes followed by Votan, Necrons and Space Marines coming next with 20. The Imperial Guard get 19 top 3 finishes, which is a better week for them. We will keep an eye on their performances, as not all tournaments are using the 9th edition Guard Codex. It will be interesting to see their stats once their Codex hits general sale. Aldarian Imperial Knights come next with 18 top 3s, followed by a large number of factions getting multiple top 3 placings, with 15 out of the 23 factions getting 10 or more top 3s. We move on to the win rates for all factions, with 7 of the top 10 factions having a win rate of over 50%. The Leagues of Votan have a 58.4% win rate, beating out Chaos Demons with 56.3% and Tyrannus with 53.8% to come top of the win rates this week. The Votan were less successful in transferring their high win rate into tournament wins, only managing 4 victories. Both Chaos Demons and Tyrannus fared much better, with Chaos Demons getting over 3 times the wins and the Tyrannus getting double. The Imperial Knights had a good week with a 53.2% win rate, while taking down the Severe GT at 160 player tournament. Check out our new tournament spotlight series to get all of the stats on the Severe GT and other big tournaments of the week, linked at the end of the video. It's time to give a special thanks to our resident stat guru and Ultramarine fanboy Fearless Fox for collecting and interpreting all the data. Here we have part 1 of the full army stats for a total of 23 declared factions. There are a lot of stats on this page. So you might want to pause the video so you can see the stats for your favourite faction. If there are more stats you want to see, or you just want to join in with the discussion, comment down below. Next up, my favourite section, my weekly roundup. To set, we have taken the data from all tournaments on Best Coast pairings between the 5th of December 2022 and the 11th of December 2022. In my opinion, using all tournaments data gives a great insight into how well an army is performing in match play 40k, whether you're playing at your local store or at a GT. The Leagues of Votan got the best win rate this week with 58.4%. Now as it takes us a long time to collect and interpret all the data, we don't look at individual army lists, we just take the declared factions of the player as the faction played. Therefore we don't know in particular what units are doing well for the Votan, but I do know that the Hernkin Pioneers are taken in many Votan lists. It is interesting to see Votan at the top of the win rate this week, as they only had a win rate of 45.1% last week. Perhaps if this player is getting used to a new faction, we will get a better picture when we do our monthly stat show once we have more data. The World Eater is still struggling with the lowest overall faction win rate with 32.2%. If any World Eater faithful are feeling a little disappointed at their performance, I wouldn't worry too much. With numerous leaks regarding their codex now doing the rounds, alongside an official rules preview for Angron, they surely are not far away from their new codex. We will be keeping an eye on their win rate going forward to see how the new codex affects their stats. Rather unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction, with 14% of all players taking Space Marines with a huge 954 total games played. They managed a win rate of 37.8%, which is the third worst win rate, just beating out Admech, who got 37.3. Even so, they managed a decent week, having 7 wins, the most we've seen in the week so far. The least played faction was Chaos Mix, with only 1% of players taking the faction for a total of 15. They managed to get a win rate of 47.9%, with 0 wins and 3 top 3 placings. Perhaps players are gravitating towards pure Chaos Demons or Chaos Space Marines with Demons in support, as they seem to be doing much better than the Chaos Mix lists. 
21 factions won at least one tournament this week. It is important to remember we take results for small tournaments such as 8 player tournaments. There are a lot of opportunities for a faction to get a win. World Eaters and Chaos mix you missed out on a win, with Admech and Grey Knight only managing a single win this week. All factions apart from World Eaters managed to get a top 3 placing, which really does emphasise the tough time the World Eaters are having while they are waiting for their new rules. Hats off to the players who are taking them anyway. As it is said, Korn does not care from where the blood flows, even if it's mainly from his loyal followers. Next we explore who got the tournament wins for Space Marines with our chapter breakdown. As you might expect, Space Marine players usually always declare their chapter of choice with only 5 players out of 274 where the sub-faction is unknown. The glorious sums of Sanguinius this week did not get the best min rate, coming below the Space Sharks who managed a flat 50%. However, as there were only two players for a total of six games for the Space Sharks, I'm claiming that my Blood Angels still get the best win rate of 44.1% due to there being far more games played. The Blood Angels still managed to get the most wins with four and most top three placings with ten. However, this week we see the Death Watch, Black Templars and Dark Angels all get a tournament win. A special mention to the Templars who also managed to get three top three placings, despite their win rate of only 34.4%. Overall, the Space Marines are still struggling with a win percentage of 37.8%, with the two Red Scorpion players managing a win rate of only 25%. All of the chapters were below 50% when more than 10 games were played, really showing they do need some help from GW. Fearless' favourite blue boys, the Ultramarines, got a 28.1% win rate this week. At least Fearless will be happy to know they are the fourth most played chapter despite their poor form, with 34 people taking the Sons of Gullyman. This week, most Chaos Space Marine players' sub-faction is unknown, but of those known, the Emperor's Children still have the best win rate with an impressive 55.6%. However, they did not manage to get the most wins, with the Black Legion taking down two tournaments and getting the most top three placings with seven. I'm sure Abaddon himself featured in many of these lists, as he is considered one of the best Supreme Commanders at the moment. The other known warbands are not faring quite as well, with win rates below 50%. The Red Corsairs really struggled this week, only managing an 11.1% win rate, the worst we've seen this week. Chaos Space Marines still manage an overall win rate of 49.7%, with 6 tournament wins and the 3rd most top 3 placings on 22, showing they still had a good week. Having said that, the Loyalists may have a worse win rate and less top 3 placings, but they just managed to get one more tournament win. At least the Loyalists were able to win on one metric this week. If you enjoyed our content, please like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of our weekly stat shows. Here are some videos for you to watch next. If you want to support us, please check out the links in the description. Remember, in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only war. So we will be back next week with more stats. Thank you for watching.